Missing Mysteries is a channel that explores missing people in the UK and is designed to help spread awareness of the less known missing persons cases. Unfortunately, a person is recorded as missing every two minutes in the UK. Of those, 79% will be found within 24 hours. 2% are found within a week, leaving the remaining a mystery. Under the current law in the UK, a person can be declared dead after seven years if they have been reported missing. A coroner's court has the power to declare a person treated as deceased if a family chooses to make this request. Our aim at Missing Mysteries is to raise awareness and provide facts on the missing people and to try help probe people's memories in the hope that the missing person can be found. Today the team at Missing Mysteries is in Bridgend to explore Michael Cox and to trace his last tracks. We will be detailing some important parts of his case. Michael Cox was reported missing on November 18, 2011. Michael is from the Kyra area of Mystig, a village situated in Bridgend, South Wales, and lies close to the border of Neathport Talbot. The day of November the 18th, 2011, was approximately 12 degrees during daylight, and had dropped to around 4 degrees in the evening. The weather was dry and mostly cloudy, so it wouldn't have been too uncomfortable. However, it would have been ideal to have worn a coat or a jacket, as there was a small breeze. Kyra is a former mining village and is located approximately two miles north of Mystig and is part of the Llinfi Valley. In 2011, the consensus stated there were approximately 7,000 people living in the area, so it was not massively populated, but due to its history of being a miners' village, it sustains a close-knit community and holds its traditional values as a town. Michael Cox, now a 57-year-old man, was 50 years old when he was reported missing in November 2011 and has been missing ever since. Michael is described as being of a small build, approximately 5 foot 10 inches tall, with brown hair and blue eyes. Having spoken with some locals, we discovered that Michael was known to be a heavy user of drugs. Michael had a relatively average sized family and was very well known in the area. Michael also failed to attend his grandmother's funeral a few months prior to his disappearance and this shocked some of his family members. It is suspected he may have accidentally commit suicide due to his drug misuse. It is possible that he could be sleeping rough as he was known to stay anywhere and everywhere possible. Records have indicated that Michael has been reported missing twice in the past despite Michael being recorded as missing on the Missing People website in 2011 Further reports have indicated that Michael was last seen on April 26, 2013, in my stake. If anyone has any information in relation to Michael's disappearance, they are urged to contact South Wales Police by calling 101. Alternatively, people who may have further information who would like to report anonymously can call Crime Stoppers on 0800 555 1. All of the information gathered today has been obtained factually and fully researched. If you would like Missing Mysteries to cover your story, please contact me at missingmysteryyt at gmail.com. Thank you.